Hey guys, John here. I wanted to check out Spark Toro this week. Talk about what it is, what it's designed for. It's from the great Rand Fishkin, previously of Moz. And so let me let me talk through a little bit about the philosophy of it, and then uh, jump into the tool itself. So. Spark Tour is pretty great. So think about you are this company right here. And as a marketer, you have to communicate with the market here. But really, the market doesn't look like this. The market actually looks like this, right? a bunch of different pockets, a bunch of niche places. So whether it's websites or podcasts or forums, but people congregate in different areas. And our job as marketers is to be able to identify these niches right here, right here, right here. And that's what Spark Toro is designed to do. So SparkToro looks at all of these different places, websites, podcasts, YouTube, and they congregate all that website, all that information for us here. And so it is the go-between between your company and these niche properties. And what was previously you had to do by just internet searching and various tools, um, now SparkToro can do by itself. So let me show you how it works. So here I am, I'm signed into my Spark Toro account and I'm in this first tab here, audience intelligence. So for our purposes, let's say I'm doing some marketing work for a financial planner. So my topic is financial planning, that's my market. And if I come down here, this is, this is gonna be kind of your main search field. And you say, my audience frequently talks about, and you can pull this down and here are all your options, uses these words in their profile, follows this social account, frequently visits this website, et cetera, et cetera. What's great about this is that you're always looking for these sort of um, affiliated audience niche places, right? You know, there are these pockets that you're looking for, and you can do that through SparkToro. So let's just try this out and let's look for financial planning, okay? And down here, you can actually add a location. So um, if your uh, your business is location-based um, or you're looking to target a certain place, that's awesome as well. So I'm searching here, SparkTor is working, it's thinking, and there it returns. So we're uh, told about the audience size here. It is very large. The behavior similarity, it says it's moderately homogenous. That's it's like how similar are all these people? And it's uh, confidence. As I scroll down here, um, I, it's going to overview these major categories, social, websites, podcasts, YouTube, and audience, audience insights. So if I look here, I can see all the different social accounts. So 28% of the people who frequently talk about financial planning uh, follow Michael Kitsis or something. Um, financial Planning Market Watch CFP board, and you can see all of them down here. Um, and uh, then you can see the websites that they typically follow, the podcasts that they listen to, YouTube channels, and then give some general information about our audiences, um, namely geographical and common words and phrases they use. So, um, you know, what you're going to be doing with this is that you these are the places that you are going to want to engage, communicate, market to, right? So, you, you would want to follow these people, engage with their content, share content with them that, that you think they would be interested in, they might want to amplify, go to these websites, see if there's any, uh, what sponsorship, what publishing opportunities you have, et cetera, et cetera. Now, one quick thing that might not be clear from here is if, if you click on these, it's going to bring us to the website, but if you click on these social profiles, it's not going to first bring us to their uh, social, social profile. It's going to bring us some more information about them. So this is nice because it gives us a little bit more information on um, the actual social accounts. And here, as well as... Um, um, back here, you can add them to lists, and so you can uh, uh, put those together and then export this. 
Now, this is really helpful about these social profiles because people use, you know, Twitter in different ways. And so, for instance, here, if you're looking to get, for instance, a retweet over a piece of content, well, it doesn't look like he's going to be a very good option, right? Sometimes people just use their social profiles to, um, you know, automatically put up, put out stuff that's either from their YouTube channel or put on their website. So this, even though he's uh, super high here and might be good for getting a handle on what's going on in the market, he might not be good for amplification or sponsorship, right? Okay, so that's um, uh, that's that's the kind of overview of of this information. There there are two other tabs here. You have comparing audiences, which can be really nice for identifying those niche locations, because. Um, Sometimes you have a general category, for instance, financial planners, but then maybe I want to drill down and say, oh, well, I'm looking at fee only financial planners. And so and and a lot of times those kind of um, um, long tail ish queries are the most helpful ones because I'm not looking for financial planners, financial planning in general, but a subset of them. And so you can um, compare two of those. And so, for instance, look at two different websites. And so you can have a general one and a more specific one that'll really give you a good handle on that niche audience. Um, And then also you can do a profile search here. Uh, The last section is just where you have all of your lists that you've accumulated. um, And so that's what you do when you're kind of done with all your research. So SparkToro is this amazing, amazing tool that it's just kind of shocking that it hasn't existed yet. But leave it up to Rand Fishkin, the wizard, ex-wizard of Moz, to put something together like this. Um, It's a great tool. Check it out. Every uh, You get a number of free queries every month. Um, And so you can use it uh, before you actually commit to to a subscription. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, Let me know if you have any questions. It's a great tool. Thanks so much.